Hello YouTube, never underestimate the power of love. This subject is just so much more than, you know, love is probably the most used word and also the most underestimated thing in and outside of the universe. And therefore to get me in the mood and you, I'm going to start with a quick song. Which I don't know the words of all the choruses, verses, I mean, but it's the chorus which I like. Never reaching the end Letters I've written Never meaning to say And I love you Yes, I love you Just what the truth is I can't say anymore That may not have put you in a very loving mood or not. It yeah, should have done. It's like the way I've always seen that song. Well, actually, it's changed slightly, but I saw it as three different loves. Um, and now I see it as the first love is the love of all my brothers and sisters. You know, love each and every one of you. The second love is like the love of my soulmate and myself and the third love is the love of the one who created the universe who is all loving and in effect the universe is sort of made with love the power of the love that God has our mother and father which you know makes us feel really special And so everything is love, the power of love 
does it does conquer all it conquers all negative things love is stronger and love will therefore inevitably win out so yeah um there's just you know i could never you know i'm i'm only sort of just touching the surface really myself of the depths of love and you know obviously it is about the feeling and you know a lot of people are stuck in the um, love being lust that just sort of wanting someone of the opposite sex or wanting them sexually you know and that that isn't even love that's just lust and, um, you know, there is a difference there. You can feel the difference. The lust is sort of, yeah, you just, oh, you crave, you know, some bare skin or something. You know, it's, I mean, there is, it kind of does get into the feeling of love a bit. Because you are loving somebody, I suppose, physically. But it's just more like an addiction. Like, say, you know, if you've had a child, or even if you haven't had a child, your parents, if you knew them, you can probably get into the point where you can feel that love. You know, it's strong enough, and, you know, when you say it hurts, when that love hurts, that's... You know, that's some issue with yourself that you have. And this is why quite often people end up not feeling, because everything hurts. And it will all go back to the childhood, because, you know, we were brought up wrong. We were the, being led by the blind in nearly every single case there is there probably there would be some loving families out there but you know there's been errors for the vast majority of us and this is why the world is in the state that it is anyway so back to love so just you know I'm just touching the surface on it but you know starting to feel love is the way you you can progress and start understanding it um, and then of all course there's the love of God which is the ultimate and but you know probably the most difficult one to get to feel in the states as we've become adults children would find it easy some adults find it easy and a lot of adults have extreme difficulties with it <clears throat> but um, something I was doing lately and one of the reasons I smoke it's a bit like harming myself for some pleasure um, you know I've, I have recognised this sort of lack of self love and like in that song you know it's it's a stronger I love you in a sense but that we should absolutely love ourselves we should be loving to ourselves so loving so when I say love ourselves I don't mean pose in front of the mirror thinking oh how delicious I look I mean <laughs> just have love for yourself be gentle with yourself be nice you know as you would love somebody as you would love somebody else, love yourself. And in that way you get to feel both sort of the sending of love and you feel how it feels to receive it. And receiving love is almost an, it's an active thing that you do it almost. It's sort of and you know and just just keep trying it with people so obviously people that do love you 
and show their love to you like your children would your children would definitely be pumping out love to you if you were open to feeling it and <clears throat> if it hurts just <coughs> feel it you'll get an idea of some of the cause of that hurt if you're open to it being in you an error in yourself rather than um, thinking there's a problem with your child which is probably what often happens and I think this is what was happening with me as having these um, sort of a bit less time with my son that was getting cut down a bit about a year ago and um, and then me thinking he was missing me and I was missing him and you know it was painful in that sense and and recently it's got a lot better in a sense that in my mind I sort of thought well his real father and mother is God they'll surely be looking after and making sure you know he's getting the best stuff so that you know these feelings I was getting was more to do with myself and that helped me recognize that that was the case and since then the feeling has much improved and I've been feeling the love from my son much much more clearly and not painful so yeah it's it's um it's good and um and it's it's good to practice it so you can practice it with yourself so if you're sitting there on your own doing nothing and you're bored you can <laughs> try loving yourself a bit and just see what it feels like and feeling the love you get from others and and also you know how, you know how to love somebody you know especially our parents we loved our parents as children um and and that love gets um, mixed up because our parents did quite a lot of harm to us as very young children and our mother even in the womb without knowing it but there's this you know you can see it in a lot of people they blame their parents inside they know and they're angry towards them and obviously that's not right either what we should do is feel about the damage that was done feel that hurt and sadness from misconceptions that they had and and the environment that you you brought up in the belief systems of everyone you lived around those wrong beliefs would have caused you damage as a young baby on a soul level you wouldn't have intellectualized it but it happened at a soul level it's emotion so it's all these feelings, you've got to let all feelings come and that's how you progress. Once you've had a negative emotion, it's brilliant because you've done that now. You're not going to have to do that again. It's not going to be part of your learning process that God has designed for you in this universe. And that you can't avoid. You can only run away, suppress. And then it never goes away it won't so it's awesome when you have a negative emotion because you can just feel through it and it doesn't actually feel that bad and if you have the the love of god with you if you are thinking of god and love at the same time it's it's not bad at all because you get in this feeling that this is the best thing you could be doing right now which is great so love um <laughs> comes into it everywhere your soul is made of love your soul grows in love so the more loving y your soul becomes that's where the power is and it's powerful indeed when faced with any other negative emotion like hate jealousy whatever if someone comes and projects hate at you the best way to respond is with love it has the best results and um, people in the world start employing this and using it which they are 
and even big companies are realizing that if they want to succeed they've got to be loving they've they realize that so it is getting better so it's good news and um yeah so like i said i've only just touched the surface on it myself but i'm seeing how amazing it really is um and just wanted to get across that love is the answer love 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 and all of that okay so that's that ciao bye